So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Darcher and this Ricker woman playing on the semi final. On the target one, Rua Ben Abdel Khader from Tunisia. On the target two, Ali Jana from Egypt. And the judge, Light Judges, Hussein Abdel Fateh from Algeria. Well, the future of African recurve women's archery right here. Closest to us, Yara Ali from Egypt. The black t-shirt on is just 18 years old. And she goes up against Zura Ben Abdul Qadir from Tunisia, who's just 16. Winner goes on to shoot for the individual African title. Loser will go into the bronze medal match, and it's Ali from Egypt who'll get us underway. Great stuff by Roa. Uh, we could see from a distance that she kind of gave up the shot, but then she, uh, on a second thought, knew she didn't have a lot of time, so she just went on and is still shooting the gold. Great effort by her. Nine. But Ali is so solid to begin this match. Eight, maybe nine. Looked to be an eight there, so the first set points going to Yana Ali. Oh, we wait, they will measure this, but uh, Bernardo, you're in a quest for Olympic qualification yourself. Uh, tell us how that's going and uh, what you're targeting uh, for Paris 2024. I am indeed. Um, so, uh, Brazil, we already have um, one individual quota for both um, men and women's. Uh, Marcos Dalmeida, he won the, the quota at the Berlin World Championships. It was the first qualifying event for Paris. And then just a couple of weeks ago, or last week, really, uh, Ana Machado so from Brazil, she got the, the individual scoring. ticket at the Pan American Games in Santiago, Chile. Uh, so now our focus is turned towards qualifying the team which uh, will have a chance at um, my continental championships, which will be in April in Medellin, Colombia, a city we know well in the circuit. Uh, so there, the Pan American champion team will get uh, a team quota for the games. And this is our ultimate goal. We missed on it for Tokyo, which was heartbreaking. And uh, now we're coming strong to try. Um, as I said, uh, Israel Madej, he trains at the World Archer Excellence Center with me. I train here as well. I've been uh, being coached by uh, Coach Mark Dellenbach, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, we want to take a team to Paris and, you know, shoot for a medal. Well, we wish you all the best for that, Bernardo. But let's get our attention back on this match. Two set points, 2-0, Yana Ali. So Ben Abdel Kadir of Tunisia shoots first, the 16-year-old trying to battle her way back into this one. Oh. 
nine, maybe ten. Nine. Both scoring 27. And Abdul Kadir is provisional. Looked like a nine that last arrow. But uh, the stadium announcer has called it a potential 10. Target judge has confirmed it's a 10-9-8. And uh, that will be 27 apiece if that is the case. And they'll share the set points. And Yana Ali scoring. still leads 3-1, still leading by two set points. And she's shooting very solidly, isn't she? Indeed. Um, even though she hasn't shot a uh, 10 yet, uh, which um, Roal Ben Ab Abdel Kader has just shot, uh, but the Ali, uh, she is so consistent in the gold, and uh, sometimes uh, this is all you need. Like, uh, it, it's really hard when you're shooting up against someone who doesn't miss the nine, who doesn't miss the gold, you know. And uh, but I think the young Tunisian isn't feeling that pressure, and she is kind of the the big surprise in the in the final four because she upset no seed number three, and uh, she's having a remarkable performance so far. Set number three starts with a seven, seven. for Ben Abdel Kadir of Tunisia. No. And yet another nine for the Egyptian. Consistency is key. No. So a big opportunity here to go 5 1 up. And that's her best arrow so far. And Bernardo proving the point that uh, as soon as you say something as a commentator, it's bound to be corrected. Ali hadn't shot a 10 up until that set. And uh, she puts one in, sandwiching or sandwiched by the two nines for a 28. And if anything, her performance trajectory is going upwards at the moment. She's 5-1 up in this match. And all she needs to do is tie the next set to make it an all-Egyptian African Championship final in the recurve women's competition. She does look in control and has done from the start. Yes, I, I see both archers in control of their own shot routines, to be honest. And uh, I think it's really cool to see that. I don't think they're both battling the nerves, you know. They're just genuinely focused on shooting with arrows. And I, I think they are uh, showing us the best they can do. And uh, it's just so cool like to, to see both of them managing the pressure of, of a semi-final in a continental championship so well. Um, I think uh, the young Tunisian still has a chance here, but uh, yeah, now is the time to react and react strong. And the Egyptian, yeah, she's looking good to go to the gold final. Set number four, Ben Abdul Kadir oh, fighting back. Starts with a nine. And Ali hasn't been outside. The nines since the very oh. first set, perhaps the closest are outside or close to getting outside the gold. Seven, maybe eight. 